Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. It does feel a little bit weird saying that since I haven't done one in literally a month and I'm sorry for that. You know, I've just been a bit busy but I'm back now and I had a kind of new idea of something that I kind of did before but I put out this tweet saying, fellas, it's time I stop being lazy and make a video. Send me a picture below of your best loadout, the loadout you're most proud of and I'll rate it from 1 to 10. If it's confusing, write out unusual effects because I don't have time to flip in Google search all these unusual effects when there's like 10 effects on the loadout, which I mean, some of them literally are. And we literally have had over 100 submissions of loadouts ranging from, I mean, we're just like, a, a quick scroll through, we're seeing SFM posters, we're seeing like, just some crazy loadouts, so, uh, yeah, I mean, without further ado, we can get into it, and I'm gonna be rating these on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the goated, craziest loadout ever, I wouldn't change a single thing about it, not even a paint, not even a wall paint, not even a condition of a wall paint, and then 1 being like, why on earth would you pick that? Like, is this some sort of sick joke? Are you trolling me? But yeah, if you guys like this concept and like this video, do leave a like down below. And if this goes well, then I might do more. I feel like it's a pretty good, interesting idea. And it allows you guys to interact with me. And I get to learn about combinations that I may not have seen before. So if this is something you're interested in, leave a like. And if this video does well and uh, you guys seem to enjoy it, then I'll do more. Without further ado, though, let's get into the first loadout. So this first loadout is from Moist. And you guys, if you've been around on the channel before, uh, Moist was always in my outfit battles, those kind of series. Uh, so... We have a energy orb shotgun here, which is a strange backwards boomstick. There is a Australian wrench, a pro killstreak vintage Lugamorph, and then we have a Bonzo the All Gnawing Brainiac's hairpiece. Wow. This is actually combined as well with what looks like a brain dead defragment in hard hat 17%, I think? And then a white Viking Broder as well. Wow. I mean,. This is impressive to say the least. Assuming I've got all the items right there, I can't even imagine the cost of a Bonzo the All Gnawing Brainiac's hairpiece, but I know that is pretty expensive, mate. So, with the community sparkle on the Lugomorph as well, I mean, that's literally like the best Lugomorph, like the best pistol secondary you can have. Like, this is really strong. What a start to the episode. I'd give this a 9 out of 10, and I'll, t I'll tell you why. I know some of you are probably screaming at me to give this a 10. Right? Now, don't get me wrong, this is amazing, right? And the combo of Bonzo the Ornor and Brain Dead's sick. I love the colours you've got going on. And the white paint on the Viking Braider looks really cool with the way it's peeking out the top of the hat. It's just a lot, isn't it? It's just a lot, though. I feel like if it was just the Brainiac or just the Defragmenting and then like a Body Cosmetic as well, that could be like a little bit more subtle. Like, this is a, a great flex loadout, but just like to wear in casual and stuff, I'd, I'd be overwhelmed. What a start to the episode, though. Jesus. Okay, so up next, we have this one from Cubic, and it is a Unusual Universal Translator, a gold-painted Pyromancer's Mask, and a gold-painted Sharp Deity's Dress. What is that effect called on the translator? I've completely forgotten. Is it? It's one of the invasion effects. I've completely forgotten what it's called. We're just going to call it Yellow Ring. So I love how the Yellow Ring effect looks with the Mancer's Mask and the Deity's Dress. And because you've painted them around the same sort of colour, I think that's really cool. And it's like not on a combo you see often. It's not an effect you see often. Normally these things get like traded around and that. But it's nice to see it in a loadout and you've sort of matched the rest of the cosmetics with the loadout. I really like this and I, I don't want to ruin the whole scaling system by giving this like a, a crazy high rank. I'd give this like an 8 out of 10 just because you can't even see the Universal Translator because of the Pyromancer's Mask. And I know that's like the whole idea and you sort of get like the gas mask bit on the side but... Yeah, an 8 out of 10 is still really solid, don't get me wrong, this is a good loadout mate. Because this next one belongs to Defect and it is a Tesla Coil Mohorn. A, is that the El Dudorino as the Misk? And then the Anchor Arms as well. And it's worth noting that the El Dudorino that might not be an El Dudorino is strange. And so is the Anchor Arms. And then there's also Dave Grohl's Revenge. Big up the Foo Fighters. A hot effect on that Thomas Lab. I don't know what war paint that is. I'm going to assume it's Halloween because there's a little cobweb there. Probably a Halloween one. There's too many Halloween ones to count at this point. I love the colour coordination. I love that you've painted the Mohorn, the El Dudorino orange to go with the hot effect. And just the whole orange theme of the Thomas Lav. Like, this is a really strong one as well. The thing is, yeah, the key to my heart and loadouts is if you have colour coordination with effect and paints and cosmetics, you've unlocked my heart. You, we are one. 
but it, it just feels a bit bare because the anchor arms, although it is like a cool little tattoo on the heavy's arm, it's like that's it. You know, there's not like a coat, there's not a jacket, there's not like a any sort of print on in there. I'd probably swap out the anchor arms for like a Capitan's Kaftan or like a Saar Platinum or something. I know everyone uses that, but that's just my opinion anyway. I just like have something a bit more flashy and I mean you can probably color coordinate that as well to go with the loadout but yeah 7.5 I think I'll give this not bad not bad so that guy springman mm7 uh, said enjoy Joe love the vids keep up the amazing work thank you thank you I'm hoping to upload more soon so we've got what seems to be a lime painted green energy deep cover operator which is a sick hat it's multi-class I think the sniper can wear it as well so that's great we have a green handsome devil. I didn't even know that was paintable. Or I didn't remember that that was paintable if I did know. And then a lime painted lurking legionnaire. And then it's worth noting the weapons. There's a pro KS big kill. And what I assume is like a strange pro KS spicicle. And an app sap as well. I love this. Like I really love this. I know people are going to be like, oh lime paint. Lime paint bad. But like this looks really good. You can't deny that this looks good. I love the coordination of the handsome devil. I love how it works with the deep cover operator. If you look there, like the way the mask clips with the headband, I think just looks so cool. And the way the green energy sits behind that like really bright lime mask is great. It's super bright. A lot of people might look at that as a down point and something that may sort of like scale it down. I'm looking at that as an up point. I'm giving this a nine out of 10. I don't really know what I'd change on this though, that's the thing, I, I don't know what a 10 is, but like, this is pretty close to it. Up next we have an interesting demo man loadout here from Gecko, Gecko, apologies if I said that wrong, uh, but it's a tartan shade, the snow sleeves, and the legendary demos dust catcher. Um, this is nice, I mean I like this a lot, I love how the tartan shade works with the demos dust catcher, you get this like shrouded hood around this like roby cape thing that's cool if you ask me and i like the snow sleeves as well like for a basic loadout that's not too flashy you could get this for like well under a key i'd imagine this is really nice I'd, like for a budget loadout obviously i'm not going to be like yeah man this is as good as like the five million key loadout we saw earlier but like mate i'd probably give this like a an eight the only thing i'd say is that demo has so many body cosmetics that you could pair with the snow sleeves that there might be one that goes a little bit better with the tartan shade to like keep up that whole like shrouded theme i'm not too sure off the top of my head but like this is really good i like this a lot as like a basic demo loadout now spiky mikey obviously coming through and flexing with the sfm poster like mikey bro mikey came with a sfm poster he's like low-key set the bar a bit higher than it was beforehand so obviously mikey's got the scorching hong kong cone it's an absolute classic he's then got a flak jack as well I don't know what the third cosmetic is in that picture. Is there a third cosmetic or am I losing my mind and I just haven't played TF2 enough recently? But obviously he's holding a three rune blade, which is a weapon. I love that sort of like samurai scout kind of thing. I love how the three rune blade goes with the Hong Kong cone and like that whole aesthetic is great. And the flak jack's my personal go-to for scout misks as well. And bro, the, the scorching Hong Kong cone, that's like one of the best unusuals you can have in my opinion. That and like the Brotherhood of Arms always have a special place in my heart as like the goated all classes. Just because I don't know what the third cosmetic is, I'll give it an 8. If there was like a third cosmetic that went really well with this, like a bandana or something, we, we could talk about 9 territory, but for now we'll give it an 8. And next is Golden Eyes, yet another Merc compatriot, and he's using a Australian rocket launcher, a, I think that's Ether Trail? I could be wrong, but Duck Build Hatapus, then a Mistaken Movember, and a Veteran's Attire. I love how the Veteran's Attire Painted Gold looks with that Mistaken Movember. Is that the official name or a rename? But like, bro, look at how all the sleeves and everything just coordinates. You got the beard, you got the coat, you got the hat. From one fellow Merc of Mikey not using three cosmetics to this, this is like the perfect example of what I mean, bro. Like, this... The, the way the beard looks with the other cosmetics is great and the duck journal as well You can't see it because the soldier's got his arm in the way which is really rude and inconsiderate. I mean, I'd I'd give this like a I'd give this an 8.5 only because the unusual effect is so polar opposite to the rest of the loadout And I know it's a great effect and a great hat, but we've got yellow 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 bright pink Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. we got to do better. we got to get like a Sunbeams on there or something, you know? But nah, this is great. This is obviously a really sick loadout. You know, you, 
Come on, this is Golden Eyes, man. Of course it's going to be a fire loadout. We have this one from Hank. He's gone for a very simplistic approach here as Hank. He just put the caption as grappling hook. And no weapons, no cosmetics, just, just a grappling hook. Do you remember when I was saying I don't know what a one would be? This one from Mr. Memes is actually really nice. It looks like a Starstorm Insomnia Powdered Practitioner, which is a multi or all class, one of the two. It's definitely not a spy exclusive, but with the showstopper and the party phantom as well, bro. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the theme of this loadout is amazing. You know, the way the showstopper looks with the powdered practitioner and the party phantom, bro. We've got this, like, super classy ballroom spy. He's even using the Le Changer, bro. Le Do you hear that French, by the way? Le Changer. Amazing. This is a really, really, really sick loadout. I've never seen the showstopper used before. But I love how, like, the ribbon looks and it just looks all fancy. You've got the cuffs, like... This is really good. Bro, do I want to give out the first 10 of the episode? I'm going to give this a 9.3. It's very, very close to being perfect, bro. I don't know what I'd change. Maybe, like, maybe something to do with the unusual effect. Just to make it a little bit more fit into the theme. Maybe, like, something a bit more subtle. This is great, though. Like, this is really, really cool. Uh, this is interesting. Wow. Uh, okay. So, this one from Slifer Jam. Apologies if I said that wrong. But it's a Rainbow Scout set. Which is an Arcana Bonk Boy. A Spellbound Cottonhead, which... Bro, we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars in the first two items I've just read out there. A golden pan as well. I didn't even see that. And an un... Oh my god. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. Pyroland Daydream Herald Helm. So he's actually done the mist glitch. Like, it's not actually an unusual mist, but if you do a little glitch, like da 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 da. And the secret diary for the rainbow spell sparkles. Looks great paired with a, twi a twinkling likes zoom in brooming. And then here you can see it with the... Bro, the twinkling light zoom in brooming goes perfectly with this combo. Are you kidding me? That is incredible. Look in the bottom left of this screenshot. This does not look like an actual... Like, this doesn't look real. This looks like a community server plugin. And, like, the scattergun as well. He's got an unusual winger and an unusual scattergun. Both are pink grey. And it, I've forgotten what that, that war paint's called, but I know it's really expensive. Like, the Stars and Stripes kind of one, the USA flag one. Bro, this is amazing. This is a, a genuinely amazing loadout and how it looks with the broom. 9.7. Just because the effects are so good, they carry. The effects carry this, okay? I'm going to say it in the golden pan, the weapons, they carry. But, could there be a flak jack in there? Could there be like a, a big man on campus there? Just something to liven up the body a bit because there's so much going on in the head. Not enough on the body. But, guys, that is just about it for this video. This was super fun to record, honestly. If you want to see me do more stuff like this, just, like, laid back. Not really edited too heavily. Just, like, laid back, load out reviews there. Let me know. And I'll put out another tweet. So, uh, yeah, leave a like if you did enjoy, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And, yeah, peace.